guys, welcome back to my channel for new and beauty for October plus monthly giveaway. Every month I offer a huge bag of goodies to give away for my newsletter subscribers and subscribers here on YouTube. I will explain what's in here and how to enter at the end of this video. Every month I also share with you guys some of my picks for exciting new products that are launching in October or new to me that I either received from PR or purchased myself. And if you like to see what I'm excited about for October, then just keep on watching. I feel a little poofy today with my hair, but you know, we'll figure it out. <laughs> Did a full face on the entire Too Faced Peaches and Cream collection. Totally first impression, honest review. I will have that video linked in the cards or in the description box if you wanted to watch that. I try out everything from the collection except for one bronzer. It's like the sweet pie one. It's the bronzer with the like shimmery stuff. That's the only product I didn't try from the collection. The eyeshadow palette I'm very excited about because it is the Just Peachy Mattes and I think they did a good job in terms of quality this time. I know sometimes with Too Faced, people aren't really impressed with their limited edition launches or their other launches in terms of eyeshadow quality, but I felt like this one was very comparable to the chocolate bar quality and the sweet peach palette quality. It's it's very pigmented, it's blendable, and it's smooth and even throughout the entire palette. I created a really fun, warm, matte look with it, and I think while it's warm and matte, there's also some really bright peachy colors that make it a little bit more different compared to a lot of other matte palettes out there. I think the mirror is a good size and good quality. The packaging is good quality, not just some cardboard. So I do think they did a really nice job. The other product I really enjoyed from the collection is the Bronzed Peach. This is in Toasted Peach. I think the packaging is really cute and adorable, really fun and girly, but also this bronzer was really unique and smooth and worked really well on my drier skin. I do have dry patches right here and that's typically where my product has trouble blending. So this blended really beautifully, really smoothly with a brush. You could probably use your fingers to apply it as well. It has a really nice like bronzy, glowy look to it and it feels wonderful on the skin it lasts all day it's almost like a cream to powder formulation so you get the ease of application of a cream but not like that dewy emollient texture because it goes right down to a powder and it works so so well another eyeshadow palette that recently launched is from Zoeva and it's the cafe eyeshadow palette Zoeva makes some really amazing eyeshadow palettes I feel like their pigmentation is always really good consistent pigmented and good quality especially for the price point they are quite affordable and you can purchase them in the u.s on their websites exclusively i think a couple palettes are available through space and k depending on the space and k location you go to it's worth ordering online because of the price point and the quality of their shadows. I think the cafe is really cute. So I'm very excited to play with this. I haven't actually worn it on my eyes just yet, but it is something I'm very excited and looking forward to testing out. The other eyeshadow palette I'm excited for and currently wearing is from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Instant Eye Palette. You're gonna get four distinct eye looks that is universally flattering on everybody, so that she says. It's got this beautiful rose gold packaging. Immediately though, when I purchased this, because I bought it myself, I love the way it looks, and I obviously bought it for the eyeshadow, and it's a great size mirror, but I was kind of disappointed in the rose gold packaging, because it feels kind of cheap. It's definitely not as good of a quality as the Filmstar Bronze and Glow, even though it's the same rose gold and look of it. The Filmstar Bronze and Glow is definitely a metal, I feel like, and this is definitely like plasticky. That was kind of disappointing, especially when you're paying about $80 for this palette. After tax and everything, I think I paid a little bit over $80. The mirror is really nice, and it's a true to like reflection mirror. Sometimes mirrors can be a little like warped. This is a really good mirror. You get four distinct looks with three shadows per look. So you're going to get day eye, desk eye, which is the one I'm wearing today, date eye, and then disco eye. And you could really just travel with this, or this could be your all-in-one eyeshadow palette if you're drawn to all of these shades. You wouldn't need much else if you're not into like having every palette on the market. This is something I would say like if you are looking for a palette to invest in and that's going to give you a lot of different options and you don't want to have to think too much about pairing colors and shades together or mattes and shimmers together, this gives you like a foolproof, easy, everyday work, date, 
and fancy. You really would only need like a black eyeliner or a liquid eyeliner and maybe a brown eyeliner and some mascara and you're gonna be done with your eye makeup. I think in that situation, yes, it's definitely a palette to invest in. If you already have a ton of eyeshadow palettes, I don't know that this is something you necessarily need, but I personally love the idea of this. I love the concept of it. Charlotte Tilbury makes really easy to blend eyeshadows. They're almost foolproof, so if you don't like going in there and blend, 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 or if you don't like things that are overly pigmented, then I think you'll really enjoy Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadows. They're of good quality. There is talc in it. I wish there wasn't, but there is. I personally bought this because I like the no fuss, no think sometimes, and this is what I'm gonna try and reach for and see if it works for a while, so I will update you guys. But immediately, I love the desk look for every single day. I'm not even wearing any eyeliner because I wanted to see what the shadows look like without any liner, and I will definitely play around with this and update you guys in either a favorites, a fails, or disappointing products or you know I always update you guys and I always do the best of series at the end of the year or early next year as well. The other palette and the last palette I'm going to mention in this new and beauty video is the Making Faces Beauty Book and I really thought this is beautiful from Kevin Aquan. It is inspired by Kevin Aquan's book Making Faces and you get three makeup palettes. It's really a fun idea. It looks like a little book and if you wanted to collect this, I definitely think it's a beautiful collector's piece. You get a nice mirror on here. And then the first one is going to be your chapter one contour, which I feel like is like what Kevin Aquan is known for. And the second one is chapter two, which is gonna be the blush and define. The final one is chapter three, emphasis on eyes. So you're getting a full eyeshadow palette and you have a lot of shades to play with combination of mattes and shimmers and satins. More satins and shimmers than matte though, but it's okay because you can also use the contour book to deepen up and use as matte shadows, which is what I love about this, is that you really can find a lot of versatile ways to use all of these, even though they are like specifically designed to say like, oh, this is for contour, this is for blush. You can really use it all over your face. So I got this little kit that's available now at Credo Beauty. You guys know I love Credo Beauty. It's where I buy a lot of my like cleaner, toxic-free products. It's also like one of my favorite stores to visit. So I believe there's a location in San Francisco, LA, New York, Boston. Um, I think those are the only locations currently, but you can go on their website and check things out as well. So this is their new little set, and I just think it's so cute. You can try out a bunch of things, and it comes in this beautiful canvas bag that says, good things come in all shades and sizes. You get a little sample of one of my favorite primers. This is the Juice Beauty Phyto Pigment Illuminating Primer. You're gonna get Juice Beauty Last Looks Cream Blush in 04 Flush. This is a really pretty wearable shade for most skin tones. It's not too pink, it's not too mauve or too red. It's just a really good natural everyday shade and you can wear this on your lips too if you wanted to. A deluxe sample size of one of my favorite mascaras. This is from Well People, the Expressionist Mascara. This is so good. It's one of the best mascaras regardless of clean or not and the fact that it is clean and it doesn't seem to smudge or budge on me throughout the day. Also get a little eyeshadow from Alima Pure. Alima Pure makes some really great talc free products. They also don't use bismuth oxychloride. A lot of people are allergic to that. So this shade is in Volt. You get an Ilia lipstick in Lucy's Party. So this is a really beautiful like fall berry shade and Ilia makes some really great luxury clean products. Their most notable products for me is the Soft Focus setting powder and their eyeshadow sticks. And I like the one in And She Was. I'm very excited to test out this nail polish. This is Pretty NYC Polish, and this is in the shade Sympathy Rose. So I've been trying to find cleaner options in terms of nail polish. It's kind of like a Cash 22 because you don't want your polish to like fade too quickly, but for it to not fade or chip, it usually needs some of those nasties. I do definitely try to avoid formaldehyde. That's like my number one thing I try to avoid in my polish. This is supposed to be a cleaner option and I can't wait to try this. This is a beautiful color. I'm actually wearing a shade from Burberry that looks just like this. The final little product you're gonna get in here is a Vapor Beauty product. And this is in Halo, so it's their highlight, and I think it's so gorgeous. It's a really beautiful, like frosty pink highlight that you can use on your cheeks, you can use on your eyes, you can use on the center of your lips to make it look a little poutier. So this is a great little kit if you wanted to try stuff out from Credo, or if you wanted to try out any of these 
brands that are a little bit cleaner and I think it's a good value too. If I can find this kit, I will link it in the description box. But I thought it was so cute. It's so like fun and I just love trying like a variety of things. I absolutely love Physicians Formula. They're one of my favorite drugstore brands and they launched these beautiful, I don't know how to pronounce this, Merumer Butter Highlighter and there's four different shades. So when I opened these and swatched them, I thought they were like powder but they are not. They're so buttery and so soft. I wore this yesterday, incredibly pigmented, almost too pigmented, so a little goes a long way. I would say like barely tap it with your brush and then apply it because you will need to blend this sucker out, but it is gorgeous amount of pigmentation. It is so buttery, it's so soft. It kind of feels like ColourPop Super Shock Shadows. You know the ColourPop formulations, how it's like a little wet, a little creamy, not quite a powder, not quite a cream. So these actually feel like that. My favorite shade is going to be Champagne, and this is like a champagne-y golden shade. I also really enjoyed the Rose Gold shade. This is almost more like a blush topper for me. And then this one's like super icy. This is in Pearl, and then they have the shade in Pink. So Pink Rose. If you guys see these at the drugstore, definitely pick them up. Um, really unique formulation for the drugstore. Really beautiful, really pigmented. And if you like your highlight, you'll like these. A couple skincare items I wanna share with you guys. The first one is from 3Lab. This is anti-aging oil and there's like gold flakes in here. So you shake this up and you use about three drops all over your face after you cleanse. I've been using this for a couple days now. I believe this is new to the line. I've been really enjoying it. I had some crazy FX makeup on my face that was alcohol based or alcohol activated and it was just a lot of like stuff on my face that I was kind of worried I was going to have a reaction to but when I came home I immediately washed my face after they, they took everything off but they used an oil and then they used alcohol which I was kind of cringing but I came home I washed my face properly and then I applied to this and I put a sheet mask over it so there's a new skincare line I'm testing out currently and it's AYR skincare or IR skincare so the ingredients are all pretty natural and you can typically understand what is in the products which I like there's about eight products in the entire collection and I think I have all eight I've been using the body bar and I've also been testing out the calming facial bar which are in my bathroom first of all these soap bars are beautiful and I'm gonna do a whole review on this line I'm really interested in testing out the exfoliating facial foam wash with alpha hydroxy acid because it's hard for me to find a good foaming face wash wash that isn't going to be super stripping but I love the way foaming face washes feel and then this is the virgin marula oil for face and hair it's fair trade wild harvested so I've been really interested also in finding a good marula oil some that I've tried have actually irritated my skin but so far this one hasn't irritated my skin which is really kind of nice I think the quality is better of these I always like to test out indie brands and kind of like self-owned brands to help you guys discover them as well so that is everything new in October that I'm excited to be testing out and kind of my picks to share with you guys and all of my new and beauty videos as a thank you for subscribing to my channel or subscribing to my newsletter on my blog because that's how you know about these giveaways first I always offer a big bag of goodies to one winner I thought this bag was really adorable and it's a little gym bag there's gonna be a lot of sheet masks in this bag this month so I'm not gonna show you everything because it's full I'm gonna share some highlights so you're gonna get a ton of sheet masks so here are all the sheet masks you're gonna get some amazing quality lashes from pure cosmetics a collection of Ofra concealers so hopefully one of them will match you a ton of lippies I have some melted matte lips lippies I have some NYX ones I also have some Rimmel Stay Mattes um, you're just gonna get a lot of different liquid lipsticks liquid eyeliner or in this way ethereal setting powder a recipe watermelon glow sleeping mask and again it cosmetics 
brush, which is some of my favorites. And then you're gonna get some Glamour Dolls brushes as well. These are really cute. Monsieur Big from Lancome. Other little goodies in here. If you're new to my channel and this is your first time entering a giveaway, all you have to do is visit the blog to enter. Make sure you're subscribed to this channel and sign up for my newsletter over on my blog where I send out personalized emails about once or twice a month updating you guys on what's going on, any upcoming giveaways, any upcoming exciting news. I also surprise you guys with giveaways over there as well as part of being a newsletter subscriber. Finish watching this video and after you watch this video or whenever you have a chance, go over to my blog, serimu.com. You'll find the October monthly giveaway blog post. Click on that and all you have to do is make sure you click on the entry and enter away. There'll be some bonus options too to enter. Thank you so much for watching and I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If anything, I just hope my videos help motivate and inspire you to look and feel your best from the outside in. I know when I look and feel my best, I'm a lot more capable at dealing with whatever life has to throw at me. I hope my video helped you unwind, de-stress, take your mind off of whatever it was you might have needed help taking your mind off of. I hope to see you guys back here every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sundays, but I've been doing bonus uploads as well. So make sure you're subscribed and turn on, turn on that notification bell. So hopefully YouTube will let you know when I have a new video. If not, just know, check back here every once in a while. I upload at least three to four videos a week here. I also love doing Insta stories. I've been doing daily giveaways pretty much daily, if not every other day over on my Insta stories. So I'll just announce that I'm gonna give away something. I'll show you what I give away and I tell you guys how to enter over on Insta stories. So if you wanna enter for some of those smaller prizes, like I'll give away a set of lipsticks or I'll give away like a hair tool or something like that, then make sure you follow me over on my Instagram and watch my stories because they're just 24 hour giveaways. So thank you so much for watching till the end of this video. Good luck on those who enter this giveaway and I will see you back here in my next video. Bye.